Hello, my beautiful Cancerians. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of your love life. So it's going to be your general love reading for the week here. Uh, so pretty much whatever comes out for you guys. Okay, let's see. Okay, guys, um, so we have balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Okay. What I'm uh, getting, well, I'm getting a couple of different uh, things here with this card, Cancer. I feel like for some of you, it could be that um, you may feel like you're walking on eggshells, okay, when it comes to this person or when it comes to this connection. There may be something you want to express, but you feel like it would lead to an argument. There could be a desire for more conversation and more communication, more dis um, more discussions as opposed to things just having to be blown out of proportion or things just having to escalate you know, into a conflict or an argument here. Because it does say... Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. So like someone here could feel like they're agreeing with what's happening because they're trying to avoid some sort of conflict. Um, and then it says a great relationship is one that's, um, you know, that both supports and challenges. So again, there's something here that you may not agree with, but you're also like, well, if I bring that up, is it going to start an argument? Or, you know, if I bring that up, is it going to, like there's, like there's almost like a blockage when it comes to communication or maybe even a blockage when it comes to feeling understood. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck here. Some of you may be involved with the Sagittarius and we have Leo energy as well, the sun card. First and foremost, I feel like something is happening, you know, fairly quickly here, maybe, you know, uh, much more quickly than you anticipated, or it could be picking up, you know, on a past energy. This could be someone that you did not expect to meet. Maybe you feel like they were extremely charming, but something's being illuminated to you about this person, about this bond here. It could also let me know that maybe you're wanting more positivity when it comes to this bond. Maybe there's an energy of you wanting to spend more time with this person, travel, you know, that sort of thing, as opposed to be feeling, as opposed to like feeling stuck or, you know, again, feeling like there's something in the way here. Hmm. Very interesting energy. Let's see how this person's currently viewing you. Okay, six of pentacles. This person may, it's interesting because this could be a card about balance as well. And that's what your oracle, oracle card here is speaking about. So this person could be viewing you as someone who's trying to, you know, attain some sort of balance in your personal life or in this connection here. Um, but they may also view you as someone where you're looking at the situation as if you were breadcrumbed or there was a lack of equal give and take. Because, yeah, I could read it as someone who has some sort of, you know, proving to do. Um, you know, whether it's they want to be more consistent or they want to show you that they actually care. So they're going to, um, you know, be the one to like initiate a conversation. This could be someone who's like proving their emotions through actions. But the way that they're viewing you is someone who is very generous, very kind. But there's something to do with balance or like equal give and take, whether they feel like you're giving to more than one situation, whether they feel like they currently do not have your undivided attention. Um, they may feel like you're more focused, you know, on your work or another situation here. Five of swords. Okay. And the nine of swords. Okay. Cancer, this is someone that feels like you're upset with them and it's upsetting them. You know what I mean? Um, five of swords could be, you know, some sort of conflict that occurred between the both of you, but it could also boil down to internal conflict, especially with the next card. We have the nine of swords. This person is very worried that you guys are currently not on the same page right now, um, but they may also be worried because they feel like there's really no solution here or they're not sure what to do moving forward. 
Um, so this could be like a harsh exchange of words. This could be you making it very clear that you guys are not on the same page and you guys want different things uh, when it comes to this bond, when it comes to this connection. And with the Nine of Swords, they're very conflicted because you guys are either A, not speaking, or you recently had some sort of a disagreement where they're like still thinking about it. They're like, how do we agree to disagree? Or how are we going to overcome this obstacle here? They're very up in their head about you. So let's see how you're viewing them, the devil, okay? Some of you could be dealing with the Capricorn, but you're viewing them as someone who you may feel like they're toxic. You may feel like they have some sort of unhealthy habits here or something just feels like a very repetitive pattern with this individual. Because for some of you, you feel like, yeah, you know, this is someone that you have been thinking about for quite some time or you did feel a very deep connection with, but you may feel like, okay, they have something that they're, you know, um, battling or there's, again, this could just be something that happens very, like a repetitive pattern in this bond here where you're starting to realize this is toxic or this is unhealthy and I need to release it. I need to, you know, release the bond, need to release the person here. But some of you may be aware of some sort of internal battle that this person is facing and you're just choosing not to, you know, communicate that or you're aware of it, but you feel like if you were to bring it up, there would be some sort of a conflict or an argument. Okay. Some of you also view this person as like, um, you may view them as someone who's currently obsessing over the situation or you feel like there's some sort of obsessive thoughts when it comes to finding a solution. Like... You know, you guys may sense this person's energy. You know that they're thinking of you quite a bit right now or you're not feeling like yourself or after you speak to this person, you feel very drained. Some of you may view them as like an energy vampire. We have the magician in your feelings and we have the judgment. So in your feelings, it doesn't seem like you're spending too much time stressing about what has happened. Uh, you know, the Five of Swords, Nine of Swords is in the mutual energy. So it could be something that you're thinking about. But in your feelings, uh, you know, uh, to be specific here with the Magician and the Judgment, you're really wanting a change. You're really wanting to finalize something or release something for good. Magician and, and Judgment could be you gaining the courage to leave a situation that you once felt very attached in. It could be you gaining the courage to tell someone, hey, you know what, this is how I really feel. Or, you know, what, what you're doing is actually bothering me. It's almost like you're building some sort of courage to be completely um, honest with this person, but more so be honest with yourself. Like what I'm seeing in your feelings is you have been tolerating something for quite some time here, but you were not wanting to tolerate it. It's just you felt like you had no other way or you felt like there were some sort of restrictions, especially with that devil that you're viewing them in. We have the Eight of Pentacles and we have the King of Cups. Things are working out for you right now, Cancer, uh, specifically pertaining to your career, but it seems like you're also wanting that change to manifest in other areas of your life. Like you may feel, okay, I'm the most stable I've been. I'm the most uh, happy that I've been when it comes to my stability, when it comes to my finances, when it comes to maybe your living situation. But with the magician as well as the judgment, you really want to put an end to what is still causing some sort of mental conflict or you're you're starting to feel like what, you know, someone that once had a hold on you or someone that you would continuously return to or try to make things work with is um, that's no more. You know, that's what I'm seeing in your feelings here. Uh, five of Swords, yeah, Three of Cups. For some of you, there's definitely an interference here, Two of Wands. So the pro of the Two of Wands is, you know, you have the, the power to, you know, manifest a new reality. He's holding the world in his hands in terms of, you know, you may know exactly what to do to move forward from this or release this here. But with the Five of Swords as well as the Three of Cups, this could be someone who knows that they're, they put you in a third-party situation. This could be someone who knows that they were indecisive, but it's still causing a lot of conflict like they're not happy with the way that they've treated you but in your feelings it's more so like you're not i'm not saying you're happy with the way this person treated you but it's almost like you're feeling more and more drained as the days go by where it's more so like why do i keep focusing on this or i no longer even uh, want to focus on this and i want something new or i want to you know uh, release something that has had a hold on me for a very long time because i feel like this may be an individual that you have tried everything in the books like you know you've you've given this person countless chances or you try to give them the benefit of the doubt and just work with them you're like okay maybe there will be a solution maybe it will get better and now you're at the point of how will it get better if I can't really express how I truly feel towards you? How will it get better if I have to bottle up my true emotions to avoid you becoming angry because of how I feel? 
do you know what I mean, Cancer? There's a lack of balance here, and I feel like that's something that's being um, highlighted to me. Uh, so let's see what's in their feelings. We have the Knight of Swords, okay? The Page of Pentacles. This is someone who wants to speak to you, but this may be someone who is very like, um, their communication comes off very impulsive. It comes off very abrupt. This person may um, say, you know, uh, they may have said something to you in the past here, um, or this is like a pattern that they have where they tell you things and then they feel that that may be crummy and then they feel bad about it after. And you're like, I'm not dealing with that anymore. Do you know what I mean? Um, Six of Swords and we have the Empress. Wow. They sense you're moving away. They sense that. Here's the thing, Cancer. This person knows that you tolerated a, a lot with them. They know how patient you were. They know that you were someone who was uh, tolerating this behavior because a Knight of Swords could also be someone who is like, they will say something in the spur of the moment and later regret it. And maybe you were like, okay, you know, that's how this person is. But now you're not making excuses for them. The Empress is someone who knows their worth. And with the Six of Swords, they sense you're moving forward and you're not turning back. Hear me out, Cancer. You may have been in a very vulnerable position when you were involved with this person. And now that you have it going on or you're feeling a lot more stable, you're also feeling a lot more clear-minded. And because you're feeling clear-minded, you're able to make these decisions and you're not, you know, backtracking or coming back to this person and trying to make things work with them. It's becoming very clear to them that Cancer is on their, on their way out and they're not coming back. And with the Knight of Swords... Um, you know, Page of Pentacles, Six of Swords. This is someone who wants to communicate with you and they and it's such an urge that they have because they know that you're moving away. But something that's becoming very clear to them is you are possibly one of the only people that have tolerated the things that they have, um, you know, said and then apologized for. Because what I'm getting, guys, is like this is someone who may be very quick with what they say, but there may be a lot of regret followed by it. Or this may be someone who's very impulsive. They make impulsive decisions. And this is something that you've tolerated as well. But this person's viewing you as no longer doing so. You know, choosing yourself, uh, you know, uh, choosing your own, you know, sanity here, if you will, and moving forward. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. This person may also feel like like some of you could have relocated. Like if you were working with this person, maybe you found a new job. If you lived in the same neighborhood as this person, maybe maybe you moved out of the city. But they feel like you moved away, you know, mentally, maybe even physically, and you're just focused on yourself here. And for some of you, it's a case of tables have turned. A situation or a person you may have felt very attached to once upon a time and you've always tried to make things work with them the tables have turned now now that they want to put forth the effort and work you're like well it's too late you know because especially with the first card the five of swords and the nine of swords something that stresses you guys out about this connection is you have to be very held back in um be, because you you're constantly trying to avoid um upsetting this person and that could be very overwhelming in a connection you know what I mean, Cancer, where it's like, if I constantly have to worry about what upsets you, when are you going to worry about what's upsetting me, right? Simple as that. So then we have the High Priestess here coming in the potential outcome and the Five of Wands. Yeah, this is someone who will possibly do anything to get your attention, whether it's uh, telling a mutual friend, hey, can you tell Cancer to reach out to me? Or it's trying to bump into, bump into you in public, whatever it is. But what you're doing is you're remaining silent with this person. You've made a decision and you see things clearly and you're moving forward. This person is aware of that, so they're trying to cause some sort of drama or they want a reaction from you. I don't say that in a way to scare you. I just feel like you can sense this person is going to start, you know, or they're going to start calling you or they're hinting something at you through social media. And it's because they know that you're at the point of no return. Look at that hermit. Some of you could be dealing with the Virgo Ace of Pentacles. You're moving on to something new in silence. You're investing in a new opportunity that actually makes you feel excited and you're not letting this person know because you feel like, for one, they wouldn't be happy about it. And for two, you feel like they are very adamant on, you know, being in your energy or wanting your attention or like, you know, the devil, the knight of swords, guys, the page of pentacles, you have the three of cups. 
nine of swords, five of swords, you know, this could be someone who has the mentality of if I can't have you, then no one else can, you know, again, we have free will, this is just their energy. But with the high priestess and five of wands, many of you are choosing to remain silent, because you feel like this is someone who has caused a lot of havoc or a lot of drama in your life. And with the hermit, as well as the ace of pentacles, I see you moving towards a new opportunity that has the potential to be extremely stable, but you're not publicizing it. That's what I see in the potential outcome. Okay. So my wonderful Cancerians, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.